Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of Jurassic Park. I absolutely love saying that. It's such a great intro and I love it. But yeah guys, we are back now. It's been a week since we obviously had our last episode because that, that is how it works. Preferably, it was going to be Sunday's episode, but obviously with the YouTube group I had to set up, you know, a few bits and bobs for that. So without further ado guys, we're going to jump straight into this video and let's get started. So, what we need to do today is we're carrying on and we're finishing the museum today, hopefully. I mean, obviously, I'll get the roof done off camera for you guys, and then we'll, when we come back later on in the episode, it'll be finished. But what we're doing today is something a bit different. Now, obviously, you can tell from the last couple of biomes we've had. Let's just try this. Like that. I'm going to try that to start off, and then we're going to put some in this corner. Like that. But yeah, if I just go back one second, guys, I will show you that the last, you know, sort of two um, rooms in the museum have been volcanic or a volcano sort of theme. And then also we just have, you know, a normal standard battle with um, an eager sheep watching on, ready to know what happens. Yeah, I honestly don't understand that bit. But um, basically then we've also got the area, or the stalls really, to go and buy things if required, we'll obviously get some villagers into there at some point in the future. But this episode, guys, we're going to go with jungle theme. Now, I've uh, brought some, not brought, but gone and collected some saplings. Now, we won't use all of them. I've kind of gone a bit overboard saying we'd use 12 oak saplings in such a small space. But what we're going to do is try our best to use it. Now, what we're going to start off by doing is something quite simple. We're just going to go across and fill it in like we've been doing all of the time because otherwise what's the point we won't have anywhere to even plant them let alone let them grow so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're obviously just gonna go quite basic I'm also gonna put like a bit of a river going through so that should be quite nice but the idea is oh Jesus the idea is we're gonna hopefully come through here like that and that was going to taken out, and that's where the water's going to come through. It's going to come through here, and then here we're going to have a little pool. Now we do need the iron shovel for this bit. But yeah, what we're going to do here is have like a bit of a pool. And carry that bit on there, and all these bits here are going to be taken out. Just so we have, you know, a bit of a jungle heading into more of an open plains. And then the next one is probably going to be, I would, it's probably just going to be like the finale, like the Mosasaurus against the Indominus Rex, which obviously occurred in Jurassic World. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out. And I also, guys, went and got myself, did a bit of mining, you know, got the general, and got, um, I can't remember, I can't remember what they're called now, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what they're actually called, I can't remember, it's completely slipped my mind at the minute, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what they're called, but they are really, really nice, I really like them, and I think it's a really, really nice touch to the design, now, it's kind of annoying that I forgot that, because it's such a basic thing. It's like ancient ruins or something. I'm not too sure. But right, what we're going to do is quickly get that bit sorted. I'm going to go something like that. And then from there, it's just going to go on in like a bit of a straight line. That's literally going to be nothing more, nothing less than just a straight line. Like so. And all we're going to have is, you know, a few dinosaurs just thriving in the area. Like so. Now, this isn't going to cover it, obviously, but... It's a start, and it's better than no start. So basically what the idea was is we cover all of this, obviously make a little bit of a lake here, and around the back of all of these we have, you know, a few trees going up. Now obviously we're going to have to incorporate it so it does somewhat fit into uh, the room. So without further ado, I think we're just going to place, I'm going to start off with the jungle saplings. I'm take one of these gravel bits out actually, just here. And I'll replace it here with this one, just because I want to have bit of um, texture in here. So we have a jungle sapling there. We'll have, we want more of the jungle saplings towards the back. Probably put them just, you know, around here, around here, like so. And then we'll obviously have one further across there. I also want a birch here and around in there with one there. And we'll have, you know, we'll have one here right in the corner. And one there and then with the oak saplings we completely we can just you know randomize it to whatever we want i want to ideally do it like one every two or three so if we do that and then we'll do that 
No, no, that's not going to work. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to bring that over there like so. Um, put the oak sapling there. And if we chuck another birch one there, that will be nice. You know, we're just trying to make it quite a condensed area. Just so when we do have, you know, dinosaurs hatching, or well, when we do have, you know, the smaller fossilised versions, they can actually just, you know, be there and it looks quite nice as though they just, it's like we're on a safari and looking through and we just see them. And like in the corner of our eye, we see them just crawling around in the background. Obviously, they won't be moving, but it's just a thought that counts. And it's the general idea that I want to go with. Now, we need to go and collect some more dirt. And I'm going to take you guys with me for once because, you know, we haven't really just had a general chit chat. So if you guys are actually impressed with what's going on in this channel, do let me know in the comment section below. And also guys, remember uh, the 5 shares, 3 likes, etc video that I made. If you guys don't know what it is, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll leave you a link to the uh, video. It is really, really good and yeah, I'm really proud of the video I made. And I think it's a really good challenge I've set for you guys to hopefully increase this channel's popularity. So, if we just carry on here... I've now run out of my iron shovel, but 45 still wouldn't be enough. Do we have anything we can use? Well, we're going to head back just up to here and grab a cobble, uh, cobblestone shovel. May as well go all the way around here, actually. It's much easier. But yeah, that is what we're going to do today. Now, if I just quickly find the crafting table, we can see it. And it'll go bang with sticks there. There we go, shovel, and I'll do one more just to be sure. Oh no, we have. Never mind. Why have I just picked it up anyway? Oh dear. We just had some iron there, and a clear view. Can't believe I've done that. Oh dear, but what we're going to do is carry on anyway. This isn't going to fill it up, but it's something to start with. And then we could carry on like this. And then just get this little bit in here first. Just so you know it's out of the way. There we go. And then we'll go and carry it all on. Basically, guys, we want to just make it, like I've just said, quite condensed and compact. So when it does eventually, you know, work, it does look nice. It does actually fit the part instead of just looking like it is creative. I don't want them to always look man-made. I want sometimes to look like quite natural exhibits. Like for when we use a shipwreck for an um, exhibit. I want it to look really, really natural and really, really nice and really effective. Because if it doesn't, then what's the point? They need to be shown in their natural habitat, I believe. Or what would have been their natural habitat before they came extinct about 65 million years ago. So then, if we just quickly nip through here and just pick up the rest of this. I think we're going to have to go for about a stack and a half, I'm going to say. But we don't need this. We'll never use this bit of dirt here for any reason. But guys, let me know for the next series we do, a seed you guys recommend for me and which one you think would be a nice seed to use whether it be you know one in the ocean one in the plains whatever you guys think would be a nice seed to build a Jurassic Park on and let me know whether you want to see it in creative or survival now this series will last for a very very long time to say the least it's almost a guarantee but you know it's just always nice to gain thoughts in my mind and just think about it because I think we've got about nine exhibits I still want to do plus build a few more things like um, a helicopter pad stuff like that so we can relive moments but yeah guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the series and improvements that can be made because without your improvement guys I don't know how to make the channel better and without making the channel better you guys could get bored so it is ideally for your own entertainment but I'm sure I can find a way to relate to you guys you know somehow some possible way I guess but yeah this is what we'll basically just be doing now for a little bit of time and hopefully it should work quite well because the idea of this video is to get this finished and get the fossils in so we need to get this one sorted and hopefully the room next to it but the next the room next to it's going to be quite a basic one it's just going to be Mosaurus against a T-Rex and it's just going to work like that it's going to be quite a basic design to use there we go bang 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 So we should have enough here just to finish it all off quite nicely, just like this. Beautiful. A nice two just left there if we ever, you know, need it. I'm going to put one there actually. 
But yeah, guys, what's going to happen now is... Oh, wow, I forgot about all this side. Hmm. Great. I'll get that done off camera, and I'll, what I'll also do is I'll go and get a water bucket so we can fill all this up. Jesus, I almost got stuck in the iron. But yeah, I'll go and get all this filled up, and hopefully the plants will have grown. If not, I'll go and kill some skeletons and get the bone meal. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into it and warp over to the next scene. Hey right, guys, so we are back, and as you can see, everything is done for this exhibit. This is by far, I think this could be my favourite exhibit, because as you can see here, you know, we have... The little, little raptors, we have like little Gallimimuses, Triceratops, we have Brachiosaurus, Pteranodons, we have absolutely loads of different dinosaurs scattered around here. It looks really, really nice, so I'm happy with it. I might, you know, extend it and have maybe some going around here, like a little block here with a few, but that'll be for, for, uh, for the future, guys. But basically what we're going to do here is have our final exhibit, and this exhibit is going to be a bit like the one actually we've got over there. Uh, in our little reception area or the prehistoric park visitor center and it's going to be the mosasaurus against the indominus rex so what we're going to do here is quite a basic design i believe i'm just trying to think of what it is now it's just going to be like a little stage like that hoping this works there there we go and what it's going to do is it's going to be filled in with whatever we like so we can fill it in with some more birch wood if we really want to like this need a bit more than that i think oh wait no should be okay nope i need one more three more all right but yeah basically what we're going to do is we fill it in like so and on this grand stage we will have the mosasaurus on this side and the indominus rex which will have all for the um Tyrannosaurus Rex on the other. So what we need to do is I need to go and get some more fossils because I've used them all on over there. Yeah, not a bit of a nightmare. We need to find ones that we don't necessarily need that don't really have any impact on the design. Which ones can't you really see? Because in my eyes, I can see absolutely all of them. Every single one. We've got that one like sneaking in the background. We don't have any round here, so they're all within sight. I genuinely think all of them we have are necessary in some way or another, in my opinion. Yes, yeah, so if you obviously think different, then do let me know in the comment section below. But what we're going to do is I'm going to head back, get the rest of the fossils from over there. But just to state what we're going to do is, ideally, I don't think we'll, I don't know what to put here. This is where I need your guys' help. I need you to let me know what we need to put in, you know, this spare part here, whether it's just a goodbye sign or whatever it is. But we're going to have the Indominus Rex against the T-Rex here. So that should be nice. I might have to fill it out a bit more each way, to be fair. Now, I think about it. Go out a little more each way. So that's, what, three from the end. And this needs to be three from the end as well. Like that. So, yeah, I need to also get some more wood and the rest of the fossils. Then I'll come back when it's completely finished. And you guys can let me know what we've put in there. So I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we are back for the final time. And as you can see, that is how it looks. It's a grand set stage with the Mosasaurus back up against the wall, against the T-Rex, and they're battling it out for supremacy. King of the land against King of the Ocean. Who will win? We will never know. Unless, obviously, there's a few scientists that do know. But yeah, apart from that guys, it's been an absolutely awesome video, thank you very very much for taking time to watch it, and it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you this video. I don't say enough guys, but you are my absolute rocks, and I can't thank you enough for all the hard support, you, um, hard work and support you guys give me, whether it's commenting on my videos, dropping a like, subscribing if you're new, all that good stuff is absolutely incredible. So make sure to keep it up guys, check out all the social medias down below. Thank you guys for watching, much love as always, stay active guys, stay awesome, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye. Yeah.